Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to MEP Technique. Today we will discuss about the latching relay. How we can do the controlling wiring of a latching relay? We will control both contactor with a latching relay. First of all, we need to understand the controlling wiring. Uh, you can see here, I have drawn the controlling wiring here. This is contactor 1, this is contactor 2, this is latching relay. In latching relay, there are six terminal, 1, 3A1, 2, A2, 4. A1, A2 is the auxiliary supply. That means we need to provide the coil voltage to energize this relay. And 1, 3, 2, 4. We will check the continuity between 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. And we will identify the common, normally close and normal open cable of the float switch. So first we will check how does a latching relay work. So I will put my multimeter in continuity. Okay. Just check 1 to 2. Okay. I am checking the continuity between 1 to 2 terminal. There is continuity. Now I am checking the continuity between 3 to 4 there is no no continuity you can see here there is no continuity so let me change this switch now you can see there is continuity between 1 to 3 and there is no continuity between 1 to 2 now the same thing we, we are going to connect with our latching relay electrical connection connection number terminal 1 and 3 will be connected with our controlling power which will be uh, which will be connecting with our selector switch which may be connected with our controlling power supply or any kind of push button on off switch then two will be connected with contactor one four will be connected with contactor two and this is my float switch how we can identify the terminal of a float switch so as you see here there are three colors black blue and brown how we will identify which one is common which one is normally open which one is normally in, uh, closed well so for that i have to check the continuity so as you see here there is continuity between black to blue and there is no continuity between blue to brown okay so that means blue to black is normally closed and blue to brown is normally open. Okay, so now we are going to do the controlling wiring. So this is the phase uh, in our MCB. So as per our controlling diagram, we need to connect the phase with blue of the float switch. So this is my terminal. I will connect the page so okay so I have okay. so I have connected the page after that the brown cable will be connected with A1. So you can see here, this is the A1. So I will connect. With brown, you can see here, this is the brown cable. I will connect it. So as per the drawing, 1 and 3 will be connected with controlling wiring. That means my phase. This is the terminal 1. This is terminal 3. So this will be connected 
with my controlling wiring so now i will put together in a connector because So I'll provide the power supply for controlling. Okay. So as per the drawing, uh, two will be connected with contractor one A one, and four will be connected with contractor two. Okay. So you can see here two. So I have already connected this cable. Two will be in contractor one. and four four terminal with contactor two finally i have completed the electrical wiring of the phase and all the neutral you can see here a2 2 a2 and a2 will be connecting with our neutral cable now i am going to switch on the power so let me switch on the mcb now you can see here my contactor two is energized okay so that means this contactor is working you can see here see so let me change the position of float switch that means my pump off see now this contactor has been energized okay so let me again position change now this contactor has been energized this contactor you can see here this switch is switching okay so that's how we can connect the latching relay with both contactor which will be controlled by our two switch okay thank you for your time